What's going on guys, Rob from Heroes Avenue. Man, it has been two weeks, I think, since we put out a video, and I really want to apologize to you guys about that. I feel like I do owe you an explanation. Darren and I uh, did go uh, away for the Memorial Day weekend, plus we've been busy doing, uh, Darren's been launching his own online business, and I've been busy planning my next 5K race. And if you guys know uh, me and have been following for a while, whenever I have one of these races that I'm in charge of, um, I do make a costume, because uh, it, it typically is a Halloween race that I plan, and a superhero race. For the last Last superhero race, uh, previous ones, I was the Flash and I was Batman and I made these suits. I'm such a noob at making costumes. I wouldn't call myself a cosplayer, but I don't know, I guess some people would because I always, I'm making a lot of costumes these days. And what I've been working on lately is Black Manta. So here's a little clip of, or a boomerang of me, uh, you know, this is really early on making uh, the Black Manta helmet, so obviously you see some tape on there um, because I haven't, uh, uh, I, this is just me putting things on to see how they look. I haven't painted it yet, and I haven't even made the whole suit yet. That's just me uh, uh, two days in on making this costume. So uh, if you guys are interested in checking uh, out the progress on that suit, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely start filming uh, my how-tos on this, this costume because I think it's probably going to be one of my best ones yet. Um, but there is a ton of news to talk about in the two weeks that we haven't made a video. Again, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to uh, stay on top of these things. Um, but first things first, let's, I mean, let's just jump into this DC news. I know there's been some Marvel news that's dropped lately, and I'll try to catch up with that. But you know, I'm so excited about all the DC stuff that's been dropping. Um, big thing though, off the top, is um, I did want to address something that has been popping up on Twitter world uh, lately, and that is Jay Oliva, who is a uh, who is a director and a storyboard artist. He directed um, a lot of uh, the DC animated movies, and I think a Marvel animated movie as well. And he also is the storyboard artist for Justice League, Batman vs Superman, and was going to be the storyboard artist for Ben Affleck's The Batman. This is when Ben Affleck was uh, uh, in charge of the movie when he was uh, writing the script. Um, so uh, there was a Twitter exchange in which, and I'll post the tweet here, there's a Twitter exchange in which Jay Oliva talks about um, uh, the Batman script and he, he's, he's responding to someone here and it goes, Hi Bill, the original Affleck script was the best Batman script I've ever read. Ben had a kick-ass story and I believe that the audience and fans would have loved it. Going on, uh, responding, he goes, there was a lot happening that is above you and my paycheck. I wish it was as easy as just making it. It had some of the best Batman slash Deathstroke stuff I'd ever done. And especially if you guys are a big Bat, uh, Ben Affleck Batman fan, Batfleck fan, um, you guys are probably like, ugh, just really cringing at hearing this news. Not because uh, you don't like him, but because you love, you want, you loved and wanted to see what could have happened if Ben Affleck did direct this movie. Don't get me wrong, I'm still excited to see what Matt Reeves can do with this. Obviously, Matt Reeves is an incredible talent, especially what he did with the Planet of the Apes trilogy, um, or the two movies he directed, at least. But I'm really excited to see that, but there was just something really enticing about um, a, a Ben Affleck-directed uh, Batman movie in which he faced off against Deathstroke. You know, there, there's rumors about this uh, a Matt Reeves movie that the Penguin was going to be in it or it was going to be a year one mo uh, uh, type movie. You know, some of that stuff has got proven wrong, but it's just at least with the, the way Justice League ended, you know, the, some of, one of the most redeeming qualities of that movie was the end credit scene where Deathstroke pops out. And we know Zack Snyder shot that. So I, I, I was really excited to see that get paid off, especially if. if if you know Ben with Ben Affleck uh, and uh, now Jay Oliva stating that it was one of the best, uh, bat it was the best Batman script he's ever read, and he thinks that fans would have loved it. And I am really disappointed. And you know I, we don't know what's happening with Ben Affleck right now. Obviously, well, not obviously to you guys. But if you haven't been following, it's because we haven't uh, posted a video on it. But Ben Affleck is now in rehab um, for um, you know he's he's a uh, he's a uh, he's a. Uh, he, he's been having troubles in the past with drinking and uh, looks like uh, he's checked himself back in rehab and definitely the most important thing is for the guy to get healthy so I wish him all the best but I'm not sure what that means for the chances of Ben Affleck returning as Batman. Um, at this point, you know, I just want to hear the news. I want to see who's up next, who's on board. Even though I'd wish it was Ben, 
I'm not sure, you know, obviously Matt Reeves said he uh, he did have, have some involvement with the movie, but we're not sure to the extent yet. So let's just hold tight on the news uh, about that. But it just, it is really, it's really cool to think about uh, what could we could have gotten um, with a Ben Affleck script because, um, you know, obviously Ben Affleck is a huge Batman fan. He has a bat cave in his own house. And um, I'm just, you know, it's kind of really sad and bittersweet to hear this news from Jay Oliver. Um, but let us go on. Um, let us go on. And before I go on to the next topic, which is going to be the Shazam and Aquaman images, if you guys have something you in particularly want to talk about in the comment section, you know, I think it'll be a cool way for us to engage a little bit more. We'll just, we'll have a, uh, maybe a video series every couple weeks, just uh, me and Darren picking out our favorite comments in which uh, some of you guys want to talk about, topics in which you guys want to talk about, and we'll pick it and we'll shout you guys out and we'll make a video on it uh, every couple weeks at least. So um, drop a comment if there's anything in particular that you want to go in more detail about. We'll make a specific video just for that question so uh definitely drop the comments in there guys so um the next thing i wanted to talk about is uh the the stills from aquaman and shazam so uh let's do aquaman first so if we're checking out this aquaman image it looks pretty cool right here i don't know why i couldn't find a, a bigger one of this but i do see it's a long vertical image so it's um you obviously you see uh aquaman and mira and uh king atlan and as you can see he's holding the traditional trident uh in this image and he's it's it's they're looking at some ancient uh probably ancient uh atlantean technology in which they are speaking or they're watching a video of king atlan probably telling in my at least that me speculating probably telling them some secrets about the trident um the trident that could possibly sink atlantis or 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 possibly unite atlantis because we don't know exactly what the story is um uh going to where the direction it's going to go in yet though we do have some descriptions and what's cool about this image in particular is that it harkens back to the new 52 aquaman run especially uh the first i think it was in the first six issues one of the first six issues of aquaman new 52 um you do see you, you do see uh i think you see mira in that uh talking to king atlan i'll definitely post a picture up uh in the back of mirror here and i'll have to look it up when editing this video but i recently guys i i'm still reading the new 52 iteration run on uh Aquaman and guys, it's amazing. Especially, especially the uh, the first um, the first five parts uh, in which Jeff Johns is, uh, takes over the run. Um, uh, the writers change kind of like halfway through the New 52. So um, yes, it's it's just really incredible. I, I'm so excited to see the uh, what, what we can get out of this movie. And I think Aquaman's quickly becoming one of my favorite comic book characters. Um, so I'm going to have to catch up a lot on, uh, on the Rebirth stuff and uh, uh, and, and beyond. So uh, I just, I'm really excited and hyped to see this. You know, I'm hoping they strike a good balance between um, uh, a different type of uh, Aquaman that works for the big screen and a little bit of the new 52 type Aquaman in which he's very regal and serious and... Um, just just a badass he's such a badass in the new 52 i love it um and i think that's pretty widely uh that's why wi that's widely the case most people love the new 52 version of aquaman i think they a lot of people have uh problems with uh, other characters like superman and um the relationship with wonder woman and a lot of other characters too but i think this looks awesome i'm super excited for aquaman guys um more news on aquaman to come there's a rumor that there's going to be a new trailer uh, coming in October, so um, hopefully sooner, but you know, definitely watch out for that because I'm going to be covering that for sure. Okay, let's take a look at some Shazam stills, and right here we got a new image of Dr. Savannah, and um, and he's holding what looks to be those wizards, uh, the, the original Shazam wizard staff, um, and um, it, you know, so if they're following the New 52 arc of uh, of Shazam and it looks like they may be borrowing heavily from that just like a lot of these movies are right now um, he, he may uh, doc, uh, Dr. Savannah may even be someone who's going to unlock a Black Adam in the future basically somehow release him uh, because I believe in the New 52 that is kind of how the story went um, it, in, it involved a lot of the seven deadly sins and we may see that in this movie so far it may be something that they're hiding out of the first trailer uh, but but it looks like uh, in this picture, at least, uh, Doctor Savannah, he he was he in, in the New Fifty Two. He was someone who was originally going to get the powers of Shazam, but for some reason wasn't worthy, and it left him scarred um, with that eye. And he's able to see magical things and beings. So um, I'm thinking that this is the case with this image. It looks pretty awesome. It looks like somehow he gets into that cave that only Billy usually has access to, and he's going to do some. Uh, 
some uh, some things he's not supposed to in, in unleashing possibly, and I'm just guessing here, guys, uh, Black Adam for a future uh, feature film with The Rock. Man, I'm excited for that, man. Um, even though it sucks that we're not going to see uh, Shazam and Black Adam in the same movie yet, I think the payoff in the long term will be awesome. So having two separate movies, um, you know, I'm not sure what you guys think of The Rock, because I haven't seen a lot of comments from you guys about The Rock, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you guys think about The Rock's acting skills? I love him as a person, super inspiring, especially if you follow him on Instagram, but uh, I'm not sure about his acting skills. Uh, I do love that guy, though. So, and then the second, the second image uh, just looks to be a hero shot in uh, Shaz with Shazam in his suit. Um, looks like that uh, scene where he saves the bus. Uh, one of my videos a long time ago, early videos covering Shazam, showed a video of him kind of dancing around after saving a bus. And this looks like to be the scene possibly because there's a bus in the background. And it just looks really awesome. His suit looks on point, you know. It's totally, it's it's probably fixed a little bit on Photoshop. But I'm loving the colors. I'm loving how it looks right now, how that's that yellow sign is glowing. Um, it's, it looks awesome, you know, and, it, and it's probably the continuation of the clip where he punches Dr. Savannah and realizes that this guy ain't no one to mess with. So, um, yeah, it looks great. Suit looks awesome. I've been a defender of the suit since day one. Look up the videos. Man, I am all for this. Next thing I want to talk about was Henry Cavill's uh, new role, and he's actually cast as the main character in the Netflix Witcher series. And uh, if you guys didn't know, The, uh, the Witcher is a, uh, not only is it a game, uh, and uh, recently the third game in the series has been getting a lot of praise, um, and it is, a, it is a book series as well. And I think the Netflix series is going to be based more so on the book series and not the game. Um, but hey guys, I haven't played the game, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. Let me know if you guys have played it in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of the game I haven't played it myself it looks really awesome I just haven't had a lot of time uh, to play games lately and uh, I'm gonna talk about more about games later uh, in just a second but the big thing I want to talk about here is what does that mean for Man of Steel this Man of Steel movie that we've all been waiting for a lot of people some people youtubers have been saying that essentially uh, Nick's Nick's X's out that Matt the potential for a Man of Steel 2 because he's gonna be so busy shooting a series Shooting a series takes longer than filming a, a movie. It is a bigger commitment, and especially if they're going to film in uh, in uh, the places uh, places around the world, uh, according to the weather, and um, a lot of and uh, it, a lot, just like Game of Thrones, if if they're shooting. If they're shooting based on seasons, it's going to be a bigger commitment for Henry Cavill and a more of a scheduling nightmare. Not to say it can't be done, but it is going to be harder. So a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people are thinking that. You know, his chances of playing Superman in the future are really slim now. And I like to hold more of an optimistic view of this because um, while Henry Cavill uh, got this role and apparently was runner-up for uh, James Bond before Daniel Craig took up the role and may potentially uh, take up the role after Daniel Craig, um, we're not sure about that yet. It's all speculation. But I do think he loves the role of Superman and wants to do it and see it uh, done with justice. So, I'm uh, <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, but uh, I think... Uh, I think Henry Cavill wants to make a deal, wants to, ma uh, but he he wants to be paid obviously for what he thinks he deserves, and that's probably the biggest uh, uh, issue right here. And um, to be to be honest, guys, what I think of it is uh, let's not let's not uh, let's not get too excited, let's not get too depressed about the chances of a Man of Steel two. I don't think we're gonna see it anytime soon. I think right now Walter Amada, who's in charge of the DC universe, is uh, the person right now who is um, he's a person right now who's just gonna wait on how Aquaman, how Wonder Woman how Shazam do and then I think he'll make a decision on what to do next so my opinion it does it doesn't do nothing to hurt or uh, help the chances of Man of Steel 2 even though I think we should be getting one um, now I, I forgot if we made a video on this or not but there is news that they are going to be making a Supergirl movie and that's just early in development it's not officially greenlit yet but they are in development so I'm not sure. I mean, I would be so for it if I knew that we have Henry Cavill uh, on board for the future of uh, the Superman uh, series or movie. So, um, I don't know. I think, uh, let me know what you guys think about this potential uh, this potential news and to see if, if, does this hurt the chances of Man of Steel 2? I'm not sure. I'm sure this is something I'm going to be covering because Man of Steel is by far not by far. Man of Steel is my favorite superhero movie. Got me reading Superman. Um, I wasn't reading Superman comics before Man of Steel, and this is the movie that made me do it, surprisingly. Um, so I, I, love, I love that movie. Favorite movie, uh, comic book movie of all time. Uh, definitely my number one. And uh, yeah, it's, it's up there with The Dark Knight, 
Avengers Infinity War, obviously, um, and you know, Winter Soldier, things like that. But I'll have to really reevaluate my top, my top ten. But Man of Steel, I can easily say it's on my top. So I need to see this sequel, and let's hold on and uh, hold on and just see what uh, the future brings. And because before we know it, all these three movies are going to be out, and uh, we'll be talking about the next slate of movies for DC soon. So stay tuned, guys. Um, and then uh, that's all the big stuff I want to talk about. There was a lot of other little news tidbits that I want to just run off on real quick. I know this video is getting kind of long. Not sure if you guys like the longer videos or the shorter videos. Um, definitely let me know. But uh, I did want to do this rapid response segment right here where I just kind of run through some all comic book news. Um, and it's not necessarily just going to be DC, but I will start with DC. So uh, Joaquin Phoenix, obviously, uh, there's been pictures of him. Uh, looking real skinny for this potential Joker role. Um, I uh, And then we got, of course, Alec Baldwin, who was supposed to be, uh, supposedly be playing Thomas Wayne. And uh, once that news broke, he quickly uh, said, hey, no, I'm not doing that role anymore. So I don't know what to think. I'm not too excited or, or you know, I'm not really, I don't know what to feel about this movie yet. I'm ex I mean, of course, I'm going to see it when it comes out, but I'm not super hyped yet because, you know, it's still early on right now, and I'm just going to wait till we get our first images and um, uh, info about the story. Um, we do got, uh, so Captain of Marvel, from the Marvel side of things, Captain Marvel images leaked, and I'm not going to lie, they look pretty awesome. I don't have them, I don't have all of them in the back here, but I did want to just say that they look pretty awesome, and I will do a trailer reaction. I or Darren will do a trailer reaction, so stay tuned for that. Um... Uh, Drax and the situation with the MCU, you know, it's still in limbo. We don't know. Uh, well, obviously, the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is on hold now. And whether or not Disney is going to uh, let uh, 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 David Bautista out of his contract to play Drax, that's still in question. So, we'll, we'll you know, if, if that stuff, if that escalates, that news escalates, we'll make a video out of it. But um, lastly, talking about games again. Uh, PS4, Spider-Man on PS4 is coming out soon. I don't have an X, a PS4. I only have an Xbox right now, but I'm really thinking about dropping uh, that that extra $300 just to buy this uh, this game and, and a PS4. So if you guys have been playing it or have been playing it by the time you, play this uh, you watch this video, let me know if it's worth it. It's buying a whole new console and game just, just to play this one thing. I mean, I'm sure I'll use it after that, but uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, guys. That'll do it for today. Um, again, apologize for uh, not putting out a video for a couple weeks. I've been real busy, but I'll definitely try uh, to. Uh, I'll definitely try to have more videos coming out soon. Let me know what you guys think about this news. If there's anything you want us to make a video about or, or a longer, uh, a longer video about a topic, uh, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Mm -hmm.